Hi everyone, I hope everyone is well. Today I'm going to look into how we um, check this out. So if you saw my last reading on Harry, you would have seen that I mentioned right now the next thing that's probably going to be uh, said and also a big sort of junction point is um, his visa paper being asked for and then the judge to decide if the documents for his visa submission, which we know either outcome really is not a win-win situation for him in terms of usage of d words um and i mentioned in his last reading that i think the next thing would be a predicament around the release of his documents um and i mentioned that i'm gen in general i'm not really up for any you know it's not something that I would support for anyone but it is something that does happen and obviously uh, that has come through so I want to just check in and see what he how he's feeling right now around this so it should be a quick read let's see Wow. <laughs> Oops. Hangman at the bottom of the deck. Really interesting cards here. Right, so firstly, the visa with regards to his visa and the forms um, that he's filled the next, uh, obviously, is right now he feels like there's an ending to something. So we know that because there's going to be decisions around stuff and anything long awaited is going to come to an end. He's actually in an energy of mixed feelings um there is some hope there he's hoping for success on it he's hoping from the outcome of what he wants i mean death and then sun is very two very strong cards um and You know here there's a big question we've not got many fours apart from this we've got sixes we've got eight we've got a nine we've got a seven we've got more sixes so overcoming um here the energy is overcoming a hurdle um and regardless of the outcome it is overcoming a hurdle because you know what your outcome needs to needs to be now it's interesting because I'm watching, I turn, I looked up and I'm watching the smoke of the essence and it 
it's quite interesting. Um, I mean, that doesn't maybe translate to you, but... I wonder if I should do a reading of channeling through that, actually, for just collectively like I did in the last one. When I had the candle, coffee cup and imagery just channeling. There's something there that's where it's trying to say. Um, I always want, I'm always thinking that whatever subject I want to do is going to take 10 minutes. And like, I think it was Camilla's where I was like, this is not going to be long, it's going to be 10 minutes. How am I even going to, you know, get to 10 minutes? I think I went up to about 30 minutes or 35 or something. Anyway, so, you know, this, this is what he's wanted here is stability with this. And definitely, um, there's a completion because we've got the definition of numerology here in this energy of four, seeking that stability and stability. Well, then we have a closure of a chapter and we have the sun. We've got the energy of a 10 here as well in these cards. Um, and I'm not talking about here, I'm channeling psychically with the um, addition of the cards. We've also got the fool, we've got the nine of wands. Now you would have seen me put this down and then changed it because when I picked up the cards, it was actually in reverse. And I thought that the rest of cards were probably in reverse as well, um, but they were all upright. So then I moved it to reverse and I'm going to read it in both, in both ways. So, you know, um, here really what we're looking at, like I said, we've got the death card, which is the end of that chapter. And then where he's hoping for the success of that sun card. The nine of pentacles comes in and the nine of pentacles in reverse, which is interesting when it's the nine of pentacles in reverse. And this is in this energy, you know, it's really about. Um, well, it comes after the eight of mastering stuff. Um, And it should be that you're having sort of pleasure in all earthly delights. You're looking after your mind, body and soul. You're really glowing, you know. Um, you've been out in your garden and you've tended to it. And this is also uh, what nature's around you, but also your mind, body and spirit. It's usually the card of material gain as well, some form of material gain. And maybe he's not sure if that is going to come through. I feel like he wanders a bit aimlessly. And I think, you know, between him and Megan, um, she seems to be a bit more on. And I've said this before. I've said she seems to more have like a more formalized sort of strategy plan and vision in place. Although I think she's dipping her feet in a couple of things to see what works. There's nothing wrong with that, but as long as you're not um, treading on other people, you know, we all try to see what works, uh, which takes me to the psychic world predictions that I want to do, because I do want to touch base on this as a repeat of my prediction in the last two readings. So with that page of wands, there's communication that comes in. This communication is really about this page that needs to look at this communication and take it forward. They don't necessarily have that opportunity to respond back to the communication that comes in. But it looks like that communication may lead to sort of um, a questioning of like, um, what did I do? The deception, the voided project or bad faith and then we've got the nine of wands which is kind of like feeling wounded about it 
feeling quite defensive. We've got the full card, but then we're in a vulnerable state as we're starting this new chapter. Feeling what somewhat disappointed um, and maybe a little bit of depression that comes in here. Um, not wanting to look at anything, um, a bit sort of single focused on what has just happened or happening with the visa. But then you're forced to move away peacefully. And I know people say this is a good card you because you're moving away peacefully. Sometimes you're actually forced to. This is not always that you just choose to, you know. Sometimes you're forced to after the energy of a five. There is somewhat of where he feels quite held back that there's no direction for him to go. But there is. And if you look at the horse, he's kind of like looking at him. Can you get a reality check on where you're going? Because you have a right direction to go. And maybe it's about making the right investments, making the right judgments around things that you're, you know, that you're actually applying for or doing this is in terms of his visa maybe it's around thinking of a different path or different outcome and maybe it's about returning to his homeland obviously I just want to pull a card here and then I'm going to go into the next question I've got. Yeah, see, we've got the page of wands again and look, he's carrying that force, that where I said, you know, it's accepting, needing to look at things. And there is where there's a bit of disappointment. Um, even if a cup is full that I get out of this, I don't want it. You know, you're not able to see maybe the blessing that you need to see. And sometimes we are in that energy. Can you see how I said the fours are significant here, but the sixes are. And so he can overcome this challenge. And maybe he doesn't see it yet, but the outcomes are for his best interest. Because we don't have a five energy. He will push through that five energy. But it's not something that is solid in this reading where he's going to be stuck in it. And that would be a hard time. Split the deck and we get the Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands comes up quite often and I say it's, you know, here I see it as a Sagittarius energy. But it can be an Aries Leo Sag. And it's understanding, yes, there is a direction that you can take. And maybe you need to look at that, look at reevaluating stuff, maybe taking that risk. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to look at the energy of what he's feeling in terms of the possible judgment of his papers being open in public. Now, what I can say with all the UK royal stuff happening, I don't think he's necessarily feeling that he's in a better or worse position, or worse position, let's say. Megan's probably thinking, I, th I thought I had my key here. What the hell is happening? I seem to be married into something giving me more of a headache. Now, if you got the Princess Catherine read, 
um, there was quite a lot of karmic energy that needed to come out. And if you remember the reading I did on her, I said, let it pan out. Let destiny play out at its time. The War of the Roses, I quoted, and very much, although I didn't elaborate um, in that reading, it refers back to it. And you can see how my readings are tying in with what I'm predicting in the readings. And I know people might not have agreed with some of the readings. You know, I've seen comments or this last reading, but it is what it is. Right, let's look at Harry. That's the communication, interesting spirit. And I'm told to look at the bottom of the deck, the seven of wands wanting to defend himself. I don't think he can appeal at this stage, okay? Wanting to defend himself from the deceit of what is seen as deceit. You know, um, maybe a hidden strategy. I think it's a difficult decision on what to disclose, but you don't really. It's very difficult not to disclose those things when you're in the public. The Empress, the Nine of Cups. I've just got something with that Empress. I'm not going to say it now, but if it comes out in the news, I'll let you know. I'll refer back to the Empress. Seven of Pentacles, been patiently waiting. He had hoped that he would move forward. These are up to the cards that came out, but I just wanted to see the energy of me pulling directly after each other. He definitely feels there's a bit of a betrayal there, regardless of what he's done. I've got the Death card and the Magician again coming out when the King of Cups and the Chariot. Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands, which was the cards that was following so here we've got how is he feeling in terms of the possibility of the disclosure of documents quite hopeless quite not sure which way to go you know um, he feels like he's been working on this for quite some time it's had his attention and he's really wanted to manifest an outcome that drives him forward to his Ten of Cups of whatever he's wanted and probably that stability with his family. It may have caused him some sort of feeling attached, I mean, sort of like um, negative behaviours of the outcome because it's been a burden to carry waiting on this for quite some time. So like negative beliefs, um attachment styles this could also be a capricorn that's in his energy but i think it's to do with uh the negative thoughts and then the six of swords where he's pushed to move away and he really needs to look at a practical grounding plan to move forward not working and moving forward in life willy-nilly that will require him to take a stand back okay not dipping your feet in everything okay not trying to keep one leg in with the royals stand back have that enlightenment allow guidance to come in because if not you're going to be acting from an area of rose tinted glasses could this could also be where he's used you know with these cards some substance to help him cope with any anxiety but should he do what i've just said it does bring in an Ace of Cups and an Ace of Swords and then the Page of Cups and there he is in his energy. And should he not, then he's going to be in the energy of, I can't see anything to be grateful for, even though the universe is handing me one cup, 
this whole thing that's going out about the documents that could be released is my focus and I'm quite depressed about it. It is heavy on his heart. It could well, you know, affect his health. But really, it might just need, he needs to step away, step back. It might mean that he's had to step back from the decision of everything. Listen to his intuition. Let me just discuss these cards here. I'm not asking the outcome, I'm asking how is he feeling about the disclosure of the documents. And this is what I'm really getting. Um, he was, he's hoping to move past it. But there's two very strong energies here as we can see. We have these two and then we have these two. So the outcome, depending on the outcome itself, could trigger him into two very significantly deep, uh, different energies. He has more power than what he thinks he has. Um, I think he's trying to rely on, I don't know if Megan's big on manifestation, if she is, maybe she's helping around that or she's got him into that kind of you know how they say about manifestation techniques he knows that there was a choice that's the lovers i'm going to have to put it down chariot back at the bottom of the deck and i do feel like um There will be a question in terms of his stability around home, money and his kids' stability. What is he also going to do because he can't leave his kids behind? How is he going to move forward? Again, a practical plan that's really needed with a vision. And moving forward with grace and slowly and not being all over the place or hasty. It will take in it a strength and both of them will need to work on a partnership to make it work. And this was the lovers, right? The choice. The choices that he will be put forward at or, you know, he will need to make. Again, you know, forgetting the ego a little bit. Forget the ego. Take a step back. Try to get that epiphany. Hanged man here. Same. Same cards coming out. Focus on yourself a little bit more. I don't know if he's scattered. I think I've said this before, he's scattered. I do feel there's a veil around his energy as well. From the scatteredness. Split the deck, the Knight of Wands again. We've got the chariot again. How did that, I thought I'd pull the chariot out. Interesting, the chariot again. So really being focused, once you've got that practical plan, moving forward on it. Staying focused on your vision and you will move forward. There might be bumps along the way, but you know you can get over them. You will be able to get over them. Looking at the bottom of the deck, and by what I said, Spirit is confirming the Ten of Cups, which we had here. So I might do a follow-up read to see his energy overall at the moment in time. Megan's as well, and other royals as well. 
but maybe of the outcome. I've touched base a bit of how the outcome could affect him and probably regardless of the outcome, what he needs to do. Um, but predicting the outcome and the energies after the outcome, we can do a separate read. So this is what I have for you. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Bye for now.